One of the most important meters to monitor during your mastering process is the loudness meter. So let's take a look at it up here. If you can't see your loudness meter, again, make sure that you're using either the default or complete workspaces. And then instead of using the level meter, which is a nice meter to show you the RMS and peak levels of the audio, I prefer to use the loudness meter, but we're going to configure the loudness meter so that we can use it a little bit more easily with the loudness standard of LUFS or loudness units full scale. Let's go to functions and go to settings. And you can use the default factory settings down here in the lower left hand corner. However, if you click the preset button, if you go to the factory presets, let's call up the classical R128 settings. And then let's change the scale from an EBU plus 18 scale to an EBU plus 18 full scale. Then go ahead and click on OK. Now we have the loudness full scale settings here instead of just the loudness units. That way we can monitor the loudness using the EBU R128 standard in the loudness meter. So here are the two files that we loaded just for example. Let's play a very loud part of this particular file. So I'm going to go to the markers window since we have some markers on this file and I'm just going to play the verse section. And we knew this was going to be a loud file. We can now read on the loudness meter that we are above minus 11 luffs, which is going to happen in this file. It's a very loud file. As you remember, when we did the global analysis, the average loudness for the entirety of the song is about minus 11 luffs. Actually, it's exactly minus 11 luffs. So if you see the luffs up here go above what you found in the global analysis, everything's still fine. We're just playing a louder part of the file. Now that we're playing a quieter part of the file, you'll see that come down a little bit more. It wasn't minus 9, now it's minus 10. So this is going to average over time. If you wanted to get a readout of the entire file, you'd have to play the entire song from beginning to end. So the easier way to do that is to use the global analysis. But being able to look up at this meter while you're mastering is a really nice thing to do. So almost all the time I have the loudness meter available in this window at all times. So that's how to configure the loudness meter. Next, let's talk about using some mastering plugins.